Hello, I'm Kenny Lowry. I'd like to welcome you here to Southern Grace. We have over 100 fountains running here in a quarter mile long garden walk, and we're going to take a little walk today and look at some of these fountains. We also have a retail store with over 4,500 square feet inside. You can check us out online at www.southerngraceva.com. Make sure to check us out on Facebook as well. We'd like to get any comments or questions you'd have. Just let us know uh, what you want to know, and we'll be glad to help you. This is uh, the first stop here is the Basalt Column Fountain. It's a pretty large water feature. Uh, it looks like a real rock. It's made of GFRC, which is glass fiber reinforced concrete. Same material they use to create zoo exhibits and animal habitat. If you've been to the zoo and seen a rock outcropping or a bear crawling on the boulder, it was probably this material. It's very strong. Uh, it allows the rock to weather out just like a real rock. Now, on this particular one, water's coming up out right here in the center. Comes out, cascades down. It's pretty wide. You can't see it there in the video. And water comes out the back here. It's on a disappearing fountain system. Disappearing fountain systems are simply a big tub buried into the ground. It has a cover with pebbles, and you have to set your fountain feature right on top of those, on that basin. Water comes down, comes out, goes through the pebbles, down into that hidden reservoir. And then there's a pump down there. It just simply pumps it right back up, and it just recycles all the way through. You do have an access panel there in the corner if you want to be able to get into your pump. You just simply rake those rocks back. You can be into that pump in less than two or three minutes if you need to get into the pump to, uh, to take it out in the winter if you're in more northern climates. Here in Virginia, we actually leave them, leave them here. We run them during, during the day during the wintertime. Uh, we'll turn them off at night, but if you do want to leave it running at night, get a nice, beautiful ice flow coming out of here, put an uplight on it. It's really pretty to do that in the wintertime. Uh, this one here, if you look at it, Chase, if you would zoom right in here, we'll show this. It looks, has the look, the feel, and the texture of a real rock. This doesn't have the weight. This weighs about 350 pounds. To give you an idea how big it is, if it were real, it would weigh probably pretty close to about 2,000 pounds. So uh, it's a very beautiful rock. It is one of the, the larger ones here that you're going to see today because of the width of it. And I know you can't see that width, but it is a pretty large rock. Now we'll go to another water feature. 